it's there. If it rises in like three seconds or less, then it should be ready. Let's see how it goes. Okay. But I. Wow. So let's leave it there. Welcome to today's edition of Jeffy Cooks. It's been a long, long time since I've done a uh, cooking vlog. Today, I'm gonna try to do something very, very simple. I have been wanting to eat some Korean-style fried chicken. I thought, why not just try to do it on my own at home? So I started off by doing my marinade. So I got some chicken thighs. It would be better if you get the boneless chicken thighs, bite sizes, I guess. And if you have the boneless, that's great. If not, then it's okay too. It would be better if you have this overnight. So the marinade is actually a combination of this. <laughs> this is the Korean fried chicken kimchi recipe mix. Comes with the batter mix right there. So you just dilute this with water and put that on you know in a bowl like this and then mix it and then put your chicken. It's got the fried chicken sauce right here, which I'm gonna amplify, I guess, a little bit, adding my own style and twist to it. Let's see. Anyway, and like what I said, it would be best if you get this marinated overnight at the very least. So put this inside the refrigerator. Mm. So what I also did since I had some extra coating, if you want, I added a crispy fry like this. Yeah, the crispy fry. Or you can also add cornstarch or flour. So it's up to you. And then I'm gonna save some for later because I was hoping to dunk these babies in the dry the flour mix so that would have an even crispy version if you want the coating to be extra crispy I guess. Alright, so let me share to you the rest of the ingredients and these are mostly for the sauce. So after the frying. No. So I already told you about the batter. Uh, this one is, you can buy this from any grocery store. The McCormick Korean, Korean Fried Chicken Kimchi Recipe Mix. And you can get the crispy fry or any breading mix for that matter. Or add some cornstarch and some flour, so that's that. For the sauce, for the coating, after the frying, you're gonna be needing chili garlic sauce over there. It's a Lee Kum Kee chili garlic sauce. And soy sauce. Oyster sauce, cayenne pepper, and jaran samjang. So this is like a Korean chili, whatever paste that people usually use when eating a Korean barbecue. Uh, so this is pretty versatile. You can get this from any Korean store, grocery, or even some supermarket. By the way, for today, I am going to be using a crock pot over here for the deep frying because it's deep enough so that I can manage the oil splatters. Uh, it's, it's so hard to clean the kitchen when you have too much going on. And it's wide enough for the chicken, he says, to actually go around. You definitely want to make sure that the temperature is extremely hot, more than you think, actually, because the moment that you dunk the chicken pieces, the temperature would definitely lower down a bit so you would want for the chicken to evenly cook in the preheated pot with the oil so the mix whatever <laughs> if you don't have that anymore you can just use the flour just for extra coating could give the chicken more crisp and I like that so before putting the chicken pieces in the pot what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put the chicken here first with this. Uh, 
fry today and then I'll set them aside okay I really miss eating brain fried chicken there's this nice Korean fried chicken restaurant in Hongdae that me and my friends would typically go to every time we're there then they've, they've got a great selection of different beers so it's just really lovely and, and nice to to eat and enjoy Korean fried chicken and a nice uh, nice place they've got variety of different uh, flavors for the chicken now I feel like the breading is not gonna be enough so I may need to use that other reinforcement the crispy fried so whatever it's fine I'm not gonna fry a whole lot for this round anyway all right let's shake this, shake this and I'll be back in a bit if you want to test if your cooking oil is hot enough you'd want to get a little bit of the marinade in a bit like that there if it rises in like if it rises in like three seconds or less then it should be ready yes um, so how do we do this it's so hard to hold the stuff with just one hand um, and uh, video what I'm doing okay so this is so yeah got the chicken let's see let's see how it goes okay into the pan So let's leave it there for a few minutes. I'm not gonna cover it until it turns out. <laughs> it turns cold and brown. Okay. Ow. So it smells nice in here. Look, the chicken are starting to come together. Yay. They're pretty huge pieces actually. I think I should take them out of the pan because the pot already. I think these are good to go. <laughs> they look like fried chicken from Jollibee. <laughs> like this but we're gonna do the sauce I'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients over here I took the pan out for a bit Hi. Chili garlic sauce. Let's do the some junk next. Super low heat. So hard, huh? I'm gonna add a little bit of water because it's bit dry so turn down your heat to just the lowest level you can add the um, oyster sauce a little bit okay. and pepper a little bit of 
soy sos. Gonna add sugar. There. chicken to be covered. That sauce. Here is the finished dish. There. chicken, don't they? Korean stuff fried chicken. Hmm. I'm gonna try this and eat this probably with kimchi. For the final judgment, again, this is my Korean style fried chicken. And some kimchi. Let's see. Wow. Um, It doesn't taste like <laughs> as the very good Korean fried chicken I know of in Korea, but I'd take this. I guess. Oh. Tip. That's so spicy. So since this is my first experiment to it, definitely would be assessing for things that I would adjust. Like for instance, I would have cornstarch or flour, more of that. I probably would do a simpler version of the sauce, maybe some jam, some water, chili garlic, sugar. That's probably it. But nevertheless, this is pretty decent. Considering that it's my first time doing this, and again, no measurement or anything, I'm so lazy. Boy, it's spicy. For sure, I'm gonna have to heat up some rice after this video. That would be so much better with chicken as spicy as this. Oh rice is the thing that's missing here naging cooking mukbang na to <laughs> why not it's lunch time anyway my kitchen is a disaster i thought i'd put this together why not i think i have one more <sighs> small little piece of Crunchy. Girl. Mm. You know what? Since I don't have beer and I terribly miss Korea, I will have this. Chil Sung Cider. Use a Korean mark. They sell this. I like this one. this I'm gonna clean the kitchen mess and catch up on my K-drama 
Don't you guys get hungry when you watch K dramas? No, they just eat so passionately and loudly a lot of times. Ooh. Oh. The next version of this, I'll come up with some further enhancements and tweaking the ingredients based on how everything tasted today. I think I have a pretty good idea of how I'm, I'm gonna modify this to my liking. I've gotten the general concept of ingredients, the, the frying and the sauce and the coating. I'll probably do my own twist and version to it on the next vlog soon. But hey, thanks for tuning in. This has been I Am Jeffy for Jeffy Cooks and Jeffy Eats. Bye-bye.